Welcome back, Flare community. I hope everyone is having an incredible start to the week as always. And today I have something really exciting to show you. We're going to be going over the FTSO monitor beta tool. Now, this tool was actually created by the Flare team. It's a tool which is exclusively available to signal providers to the Songbird network, and obviously in the future, the Flare network too. The purpose of this tool is to equal the playing ground with all of the data providers. Some of the teams may not be as tech savvy as others, and this is going to give an insight into how other data providers are actually performing. This will create a level playing field for all and strengthen the decentralization of the network. After all, we want the most accurate prices on the Songbird and Flare networks, and this is just one way to achieve it. So let's jump in. Now I'm just going to glance over some of these tabs. This one is the actual block time for the Songbird network. It shows how fast the blocks are being created and the various uh, metrics associated with each block. And we can see something similar here too. But what I really want to get across to you guys today is about the data providers and how the time series Oracle actually works. So we have this tab here about the data providers and just like the Flare metric site, it gives details on all of the different signal providers, their accuracy, their balance, their availability, their reward rate, and all that good stuff. And this is just one part of this application, but the really exciting part for me is this tab here, the prices tab. Now, let me just talk about this for a second. Let's remove the vote count there. Now you can see a set of lines on the screen here. And these lines represent the price of a given asset. Today in this one, we're looking at XRP. So this line is actually the output of the time series Oracle. And this changes every three minutes. And that's how frequently the signal providers submit prices to the time series Oracle. We know that the time series Oracle then performs some calculations by truncating the data, taking off the top 25% and the bottom 25%. Now, with this reduced data set, the XRP medium price is calculated, and that is the output. If we extend the chart here to maybe six hours, you can see that it goes all over the place, but what I really like to show you is when we zoom in like this, you can see this little band in gray. Now this band is the award area. And you can see that sometimes it's really thin and in others say this part, it's actually quite wide. So what does this actually mean? It means that the data collected here was very close with each other. There were all of the signal providers um, giving an estimate in the same area. Now, if you look at some of these bands here, which are slightly wider, this may be a result of various data providers providing data with different ranges. And what this actual band represents is any signal providers which actually provide a estimate within this range are going to get rewarded. Now we can visualize this a little bit further by coming back over to the data providers tab and we're just going to select a couple at random just to vary the data. So if we go back to the top and we click on compare, we now have a number of different signal providers on the chart too. I'm going to remove this vote count uh, just to help visualize it a little bit better. Now, within this data set, you can see that some of the signal providers were outside of this price range. For example, this one here. They're not within this little band. And that means that for this particular price submission for this particular asset, they won't be getting rewarded. As you can see down below, they have a number of different assets which you can compare this with. And something else which is really powerful about this tool is the fact that you can overlay the prices from various exchanges. So let's check Binance, for example, a very liquid exchange. 
as you can see here, these are the prices and you can see the correlation between the price estimates and also the price on Binance. Now, what various signal providers can do is they can use this data to see which exchanges have the biggest weighing and they can adjust their algorithm to suit this and to really bring a much closer price estimate. If we go up to the top here as well, we can see the timings. And as I mentioned before, each of the signal providers provide a price estimate for numerous assets every three minutes. Obviously within these three minutes, the price of an asset is fluctuating. So this is a great way for other signal providers to see when their competitors are actually submitting. Now, this is just a brief overview of the tool. And you know, some of the data has been blurred out to respect the privacy of each signal provider. So something else that I would just like to address before we wrap up is this idea of when will Flare launch? As many of us already know, the Flare network will launch after thorough testing of the Songbird network. So what do we mean by testing? And this is just a prime example. These tools have been built by Flare to allow the time series Oracle to become more robust and thoroughly tested. All of this analytical data can be used to identify the state of the network, how decentralized it is, how close the price estimations are, and much, much more. This testing phase is extremely important because the Flare network is going to be one of the biggest launches in crypto history. Never has there been so many exchanges simultaneously listing and announcing support for a single asset. And these aren't small exchanges either. These are some of the top tier exchanges throughout the world. With so many eyes on the Flare network, it's extremely important that they launch in as safe as way as possible. And that's why the Songbird network was introduced. So for all those who may be wanting to rush the Flare network, let me just tell you, it's not going to be launched until it is ready. If this network is going to launch successfully, it needs to launch with confidence. And that's exactly what the Songbird network is going to allow for. So that's all I have for today's video. I'd like to thank everyone for watching as always. Please enjoy your week. If you're yet to subscribe, please feel free to do so. And until next time, I'm out. Mission Control, we have liftoff.